Yo, Kobe's Lowriders and wait, is that an Ultra Boost? I am your host, Jock Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Nike Sportswear is showing LA a ton of love on the Hirachi, and coming this week, the brand is dropping a new version of the shoe based on the lowrider culture. The model is dipped in a bright blue upper with a white outsole, but it's really that heel stabilizer that really pops. It's covered in the iridescent paint that you often see on lowrider cars here in the city of LA. For the launch, it appears that Nike Sportswear has linked with Undefeated, though this is not an Undefeated collab. They are just the first store to release the shoes. Now, the launch is scheduled for July 16th, and you can get more details over on Undefeated site. When you think of brand black, lifestyle sneakers probably aren't the first thing that come to mind, but that may change with this one. Yesterday, the brand announced a collaboration with Rise on the Mirage. Labeled the Desert Mirage, the model is inspired by and or pays homage to the military and does it by stripping the shoe down to its rawest form and replacing it with camo printed suede. The interior lining is finished with calfskin leather and the outsole features the brand's dual durometer injected Jetlon technology. Only 240 pairs of these will be made and they are scheduled to release in store for $150 on Thursday with an online release happening on Friday. There has been a lot of talk about the Nike KD9 Unlimited, but that isn't the only basketball sneaker in the pack. Today we get a closer look at the LeBron 10 Soldier in the Unlimited pack and it might be just as nice as the KD9. The model keeps the upper mostly black with a white midsole and then there's also a translucent outsole. As you have seen before in the Unlimited pack, it adds a lot of color to the shoes and the LeBron 10 Soldier does that via the Nike swoosh and the top Velcro strap. For those that don't remember, the color chain signifies the color of motion which plays into the purpose of the LeBron 10 Soldier in the first place and the Olympics of course. You can look for these to arrive on August 4th for $140. Kobe may be retired, but that isn't stopping Nike from keeping us laced in the Kobe 11s. Seen here in black and gold, it appears that Nike has given this model the nickname Great Career Recall, which is a really long name. Uh, either way, the model rests on a, uh, has a white midsole with the flighted upper in just black, but there's a looks like there's a white underlay as well. Um, in regards to the career recall, Nike added gold to the Nike swoosh, and there's also branding on the heel and the tongue. There's also some detailing on the heel pull with two stars, but I'm not sure what they mean, and the opposite side has a bunch of dots as well. Not sure what those mean either. Either way, there's no release date as of now, but stay tuned and I'll update you when I hear more. The Adidas Ultra Boost is going through some changes and this might be the most unique take on the sneaker I have seen yet. Looking sort of like an Ultra Boost chucka, I would say, Adidas has combined the running sneaker with their lakeless soccer boot, the A16 Plus Fuel Control, and created a pretty cool looking lifestyle sneaker. The actual name of the sneaker is the Adidas A16 Plus Pure Control Ultra Boost, and it appears to be only offered across the Atlantic at the moment. Uh, the model is being offered in the black colorway as well as a solar yellow colorway, each lakeless by design. No word on if these will make it to the US, but stay tuned and I'll let you know if they do. All right, for the last video, I wanted to know what brand you would have your signature shoe with and what technology would be in your shoe. This is what Baller Number 7 had to say. I would be with Li Ning Way of Wade because it doesn't go with the trend and their designs are pretty dope. I would go with the mesh upper and their cloud cushion. Good choice. As for today's question of the video, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I wanna know what you guys think of that Ultra Boost 16 Plus Pure Control sneaker that I showed you just a few minutes ago. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe. This is the Colorado 85 by Onitsuka Tiger. Uh, these were actually a collab that they did with Publish uh, maybe about a month or two ago, maybe more than that. Uh, this is, anyway, this is a collab that they did with Publish, and so I was rocking these today, kind of went with the whole camo thing that I got going on. Anyway, if you haven't already, follow me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all under the name Cousteau. As always, I am Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. All right. Wow, sorry, guys. So, uh, let's see. I don't know what this is. Oh, wow. Very special guest, uh, Mr. Leo Chang, who is the designer of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time 